morning. It's uh, March. Uh, it is uh, March 23rd, Friday, 2012, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It's uh, more seasonably uh, around 10 degrees today. Cloudy. Was raining a little while ago. May rain on me on this trip. We're gonna head out to uh, Kingston Road and Vic Park, about uh, four blocks this side of Vic Park, a uh, street called uh, Scarborough Road. And uh, I'm gonna take uh, Dundas bike lanes over to Kingston and up Kingston. Simple. Got my uh, Peter Tobbins election sign fender recycling. It's plastic election signs. Politically, we've all decided that plastic's the way to go, even if it is unsustainable. And we were once a member of Greenpeace, founding member of Greenpeace. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, pollution probe. Founding member of Pollution Probe, Peter Tobbins. Your plastic signs. Fire Peter Tobbins, I would insist on cardboard. And I would make an effort to recycle them. After the election. I think you're supposed to do, right? You're supposed to take down all your signs after the election. It'd be a great idea to recycle those, eh? Anyways, without Peter Tobin's political sign recycled, I'd have to go buy a, a metal uh, fender that would cost probably about 40 bucks for the pair, maybe more. And, uh, but it would last me, you know, for the lifetime of the bike. This plastic sign, though. It's, uh, it's been a year since I've been using it. When was the provincial election? Anyways, I was using a Leighton sign before that. <laughs> Here in Toronto Danforth. That's a little chilly. I think I'm gonna stop here and put on my gloves. A pain in the ass. Reminder next time to put a put the gloves in an accessible pocket. Uh, hard to weather, hard to, hard to judge this weather. So I've brought, I've layered up with five different shirts. I've got a toque in my pouch. I got gloves on now. Didn't start that way. And uh, but uh, you know, uh, I find you keep the torso insulated. That that maintains your uh, body temperature and your limbs. Uh, your lips stay warm because your car is warm. It's about 10 degrees out here. Maybe a little warmer than that. But it's wet. So that's another factor. So anyways, my uh, extremities of my hands needed covering there. So now I'm toasty warm. This is a uh, rather brisk easterly wind 
Blowing out of the uh, east, uh, maybe 20 clicks steady here, it seems. Hard to say, it funnels in the city. Seems to be funneling at me about 20 clicks right now. It's uh, very windy. The steady breeze at 20 clicks uh, coming right at me. So I'm tucking down here. My elbows on the. on the handlebars there to try to reduce resistance. The faster I go, the higher the wind velocity against me is. So a steady go into the wind. No speed records on the way there today. We might set a speed record going west on Dundas. Coming back. You're honking at me? <laughs> Fucking amazing. Can't see it on film probably, but the guy was staring at me like I was in the wrong or something. <laughs> Very strange behavior. It's like angry people need to project that anger out or cause cancer in them. I think that, that's my latest theory anyway. They're always getting negativity back from that and therefore they never learn to be happy. They're always getting bad reflections. I 
an un unpleasant little discourse with a guy this morning on my early morning walk at 7 a.m. I guess I kind of started it in one way. The uh, three cars lined up at Jones and Queen there and the light turns and the guy the second in line there starts honking. More of that aggression, you know, getting that shit out. And uh, so I yelled, shut the fuck up. I hate ragers. To smash those guys' heads, I said jokingly, ironically. And uh, this guy starts walking across from the park, across the street from me. You talking to me? <laughs> I said, no. I ignored him first. And then he said, you talking to me again? And I had to, I had to confront the issue, so I said, no! I was talking at the car at the stoplight. And then he says, just go away. Like he's going to order me up the sidewalk to my house. It's like I wasn't from there, I was less, I wasn't a human being, you know? A, a lesser human. He's dismissing me. So I kind of lost it inside. I didn't do anything. I, I walked away. But that's happened to me before when you just walk away from bullshit. And then uh, this happened a few months ago. The same guy thought, oh, this guy doesn't stand up for himself. I'll continue the assault a week later. So I tried ignoring him. And finally, uh, I took one of the opportunities of his verbal assault to retort. And that was the last I've heard of him. He looks at me meanly from across the street. Quite insane. But he never says a word to me anymore. I'm just worried that when you walk away from nutters, you know, angry people projecting our anger out. If you don't, if you don't stand and make your point, your philosophy at least, they'll keep coming back because they need an outlet. They need an outlet for that disease. Alright, these, uh, these holes they've made in this tree here are all sagging badly. It was a make work project, you know, to stimulate the economy globally. We should replace the bike lane side of the street here. I guess it would be from the train track bed to the curb. So it's the same thing, isn't it? So I guess this more blacktop, please, with sealer. I'm going to cycle in behind these guys. See if I can get a bit of a draft going behind them. Whatever speed they choose. I like the idea of running side by side. That's great. I'll support that.
just drafting you guys. I'm, I don't want to go ahead. I got a hell of a wind in front of us. Almost there. Almost on the flash. Huh. I think I'll take my turn at the front. Looks like I created a break. I am the Peloton. Wasn't meaning to, I just, that's how I ride. Going up behind those guys was scary. The one guy's riding beside, and he was in a very high gear, going back and forth, in and out, in and out. And then we came up a bunch of car, a bunch of parked cars, and he was taking the the guy I was drafting took the path close to the doors, the door, the door prize bike lane. So I had to put my hands on my brake levers because I didn't want to pile into him if he got door pressed. So, you know, you really can't draft an amateur more pain than it's worth.
somebody gonna let this fool in or nope we are assholes all together asshole Gloves in an accessible spot now. Food and fellowship. So here we are, Kingston Road and Scarborough Road. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> 